miracles still happen, there was a magic spell which opened the gateway to the enchanted land of Simsala, the place where all the fairy tale characters really lived. of architecture. Did you notice the 12 turrets? I wonder where they put the swimming pool. It... <laughs> Out of the frying pan. Oh, oh, what frying pan? <laughs> and my eleventh daughter, the bubbly Princess Rosaline. A dozen princesses at once. I've never seen anything like it. They must be meeting someone very important. And last, but certainly not least, my twelfth and eldest daughter, the charming Princess Fiorentina. <sighs> and now to your chambers, my dears. I have an important matter to discuss with Gerard. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Each one more beautiful than the other. That man looks like a common soldier. Why are they being introduced to him? Yo yo? Six of one, half a dozen of the other, but they're all princesses. This is even better than my birthday. Now, Gerard, the reason I called on you today. You see, every night when the princesses go to bed, their shoes are in pristine shape. And yet, every morning, they are completely worn through. I could see why that would be a matter of a grave concern. But maybe you could spell it out for me? It's a sure sign that they've been dancing without the benefit of my strict supervision. I think I see the problem, but perhaps you could be more specific. <sighs> You're not wise in the ways of women, are you? Too much time spent on the battlefield, sir. Some things have always been a mystery. It's like this. Dancing inevitably leads to thoughts of marriage. And nobody's doing any dancing or marrying around here without my knowing about it. What would this place be coming to? I want to know where they're going and what they're doing. I await your orders, Your Majesty. Your orders are to find out what my daughters are getting up to at night. It shall be done. The reward is great. As is the punishment, many have tried before you and failed. <laughs> Not just that. I will see to it that your remaining days in the service will be very miserable indeed. Mm -hmm. But should you succeed, 
you will have the hand of one of my daughters. <gasps> You're too kind, Your Majesty. Only if you bring me proof. <laughs> and what do we make of our latest guardian? Spoil sport is more like it. A handsome face, even if he was a common soldier. More charming than the last half a dozen, it must be said. Alas, he must go the way of the others. A little wine. A soothing song. La, 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 huh? And as soon as he's asleep, we'll have our fun. <laughs> and the next morning... <laughs> I thought I'd find you here. Did I miss anything important? I've just been trying to figure out which of the princesses is my fave. And it's, it's not easy, I tell you. Don't you have anything better to do? Although, that one there, number four. <laughs> She's my personal favorite. <laughs> Your Majesty, Your Highness, Your Princessness. You must forgive me. I'm terrible with names. Don't worry. So are we. Kind... Gerard, if you'll excuse me, Your Royal, um... Could we interest you in a sip of wine? Thank you. Your princessly self... Rosaline. <laughs> I really shouldn't. Princess Rosaline? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you had this much fun, eh, Doc? I'm still curious about the mystery that has the king so baffled. What? Oh, that thing you were telling me about the shoes? So they dance in the chambers at night. Big deal, huh? Be seated. Make yourself huh? comfortable. La, 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 I still la, think they're going to escape from here. La, la, the chambers are too small for dancing, and they're not going to dance on their own, are they? Of course not. They're going to give him wine and sing him a soothing song, and then they can do whatever they want. That's their plan anyway. How did you figure that out? Ugh. They were talking about it while you were gallivanting around. Hey, wake up! We have to stop Gerard from drinking the wine! Yo-Yo's on the case! It's time to go. Pretend you're falling asleep. It worked! I hope tonight I find my perfect match. I hope so too. And I hope I don't get stuck with Prince Number Eight again. Saved me from a whole mess of trouble. I'm Yo-Yo, adventurer extraordinaire and admirer of princesses. And I'm Doc Croc, scholar, philosopher, etc., etc. I'm Gerard, a common foot soldier out of his depth. Let's get to the bottom of this, shall we? <laughs> Right. 
fine. Do we do to remain undetected as well as cross a body of water that is the problem a nifty wooden submarine comes to mind that's a boat that goes underwater <laughs> ah. <laughs> are you two always like this we have to find a way to get across Psst. Huh? Oh. at long last someone who wasn't a fool someone who didn't drink the wine I have these two to thank for that. There isn't much time. Here, take this. Take it. What is it? A cloak that will make you invisible. Cool. Impossible. Yet true. <gasps> I can't thank you enough. What do I owe you for... Nothing. All will be well in the end. Now hurry! No idea, Your Highness. It felt as if someone jumped onto the boat. Yet we are the only ones here. A lovely night, wouldn't you say? As wonderful as any other. I suppose we shall dance the waltz, no matter what music is playing. It is the only dance I know, which is why I have perfected it. One, two, three, two, three, two, three. one, two, three. One, two, three. She is the most beautiful lady I've seen in all my years. Yep, I can see huh? that. Did you hear that? One, two, three, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three. is majestic. I'd even call it princessly. Hey, look at this. I can never get enough of this forest. And look at these magical little creatures. Hmm? Whoa! Did you hear that? I do declare. These are some crunchy berries. Try one. Very droll, but we should keep moving. Yo-Yo, Doc Croc, come on. We have to keep moving. <laughs> I don't care what you two say. My favorite has to be Fiorentina. I feel a strange connection to her. Makes me all warm inside. I know what you mean, but... Have you seen Bonita? Fiorentina. How the name rolls off the tongue. Fiorentina. <gasps> I can see you. Drat! The damn thing's invisible. <laughs> Someone's playing games. Come on, Doc. We need a clever plan. Now-ish. On its way, on its way. I think. 
got it. Well, hello there. Looking for oh. someone? I thought I saw someone under the table. That would have been me. Prince Jerry. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Oh, I get that a lot. <laughs> like the mask. Yes. Well, may I have the honor? Um, a dance? Oh, you didn't have to be coy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're not very well versed in the Rococo two-step, kind prince. Oh, uh, not as such. Huh? Would you excuse me? Dance. Sure. As if that would work. You're a soldier. Think of it like a battle. You have to take those hills. Now, what are you going to do? Good idea. That's how I can win the lovely Fiorentina. Now. Now, Yo-Yo will go in on the left flank and distract the opponent with this bowl of nuts. While you go in from the right, and invite the princess to follow you, so that you can introduce her to me. Mm -hmm. oh, would you excuse me, please? Would you like to dance? I'd uh, love to. Good answer. What did I tell you? Sometimes you don't need a plan. Nuts? Isn't this music lovely? Never mind. <sighs> that wasn't so hard. I haven't noticed you here before, although... Hmm. We have met before, haven't we? Quite possibly, your princessness. Isn't it lovely? Far. 
What am I going to do? Wait! I've just thought of a clever idea. Well, it's about time. <clears throat> Good night, Prince Giuseppe. Fond farewells, Princess Fiorentina. <clears throat> Even today, when everyone has found their mate, I still can't find my perfect love. Huh. spent the night, and I have proof. Huh? You, uh, you wouldn't tell on us, would you? Of course I will. <gasps> In the morning, I will expose your nighttime activities to your father, the king. And I will have one of you for my bride. But we have already found our perfect prince. Every one of us. Have you now? Every one of you? Would you like to dance? I'd, um, love to. Good answer. That wasn't so hard, was it? We have met before, haven't we? We have indeed, my lady. And my name is Gerard. Oh, oh smooth. Gallant is the word, yo-yo. Gallant. And as proof, I present to you these branches from the actual magical forest. I'm impressed. You have done well. Now for your reward. Have you made your choice? He has indeed, Papa. I only have one last small request. I ask that you grant not just the hand of Fiorentina today, but the hands of all of them. Be preposterous! He's got some cheek, hasn't he? He's talking about the other princes, silly. Huh? <laughs> we beg for, for the hand, hand of your, your daughter. daughter! Oh, you do, do you? You see, the only reason your daughters snuck away night after night was so they could find their true love. And it was your tight grasp over them that made it necessary for them to sneak away. <laughs> tight grasp? My apologies. The benefit of your strict supervision. Perhaps you could be more specific. They were only looking for love. Is this true? <laughs> And these are the ones you chose? So be it. Couldn't have turned out any better, could it? Simpsa! Simpsa! Simpsa And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>